Okay, focus. Now that we've already covered many figures with many sides, let's talk about one that has no sides. Knock knock. Who's there? Yes, it's circles. A circle is a figure that consists of all the points that are the same distance from one fixed point, called the center or origin. That distance is called the radius of the circle, like segment OB or OD. The diameter is a line that passes through the center, and an endpoint is on the circle, like EB. The diameter is obviously then twice the length of the radius. You will need to know the formula for finding the area and circumference. Hopefully, this will just be review for you. To find the circumference or the length of the distance around the circle, use the formula for circumference. Circumference equals 2 pi r. R stands for radius. The formula for the area is area equals pi r squared. Now let's move the circle property one. Remember how triangles have a bunch of laws that they have to obey to live in triangle land? Well circle land is the exact same. Circles have their own sets of laws. The first one we're going to cover now is the sum of the interior angle of a circle equaling 360 degrees, right? Then there is circle property two. The second property is a little trickier. This property says that any line tangent, or touching the circle at one point, then is perpendicular to the radius drawn at that point of contact. So a line like the one on the board is perpendicular, or at a 90 degree angle, from radius OP. That's all that means. Great, let's try a couple SAT problems involving circles and see if you can conquer them. You will have one minute for the first one. Okay, let's start off by using circle property 1. We know that the sum of the entire angle is 360 degrees. If you cut out a wedge that forms a 60 degree angle in the wedge, then if we find the ratio of that degree to 360 degrees, the total, we'll be able to find out what ratio of the weight was lost. So set up a ratio of 60 to 360. Multiply that by the original weight of the disc, 2.5 grams, and we get the wedge weighs 0.417. Well, we can't stop there. Remember, we're trying to find out the weight of the remaining disc. So subtract 0.417 from 2.5 to get 1.04 grams. And that makes 1.04 our correct answer. That's what you would bubble into your grid. Time for question two. Who's excited? You'll have one minute to complete it.
To find the radius of the larger circle, we're going to have to take the information given to us and work backwards. We know that the area of the shaded area is 45 pi. So let's write down what we know about this larger circle. It's the small circle plus the shaded area, which is 45 pi. And the radius of the smaller circle is 6. Now, let's use the area formula to find the area of the small circle. We've already established the radius of the small circle is 6, so let's plug it into our formula. Then, plug 6 squared pi back into our original equation to get the large circle equals 6 squared pi plus 45 pi. Solve that out to get the large circle equals 81 pi. Okay, great. Now that we know the area of the large circle, all we have to do is plug that into our area formula to find r, the radius. And we get that r is equal to 9.